Hi, my name is Nadim Slajic, and I'm a go-to-market specialist for the Cloud Intelligence Dashboards and FinOps at AWS. In this series, we'll be going over the various insights you can gain from using the Kudos Dashboard. In this specific video, we're going to be covering the S3 tab of the Kudos Dashboard. Let's begin. The first thing we want to do once entering the Kudos Dashboard is to click the Amazon S3 tab at the very top. That'll bring you to the Amazon S3 summary. At the beginning of the page, you'll see some general recommendations around S3 optimization that all customers can follow. Once we scroll down, the first chart we see is the top 10 S3 accounts by total usage cost. This shows us the top accounts that are using Amazon S3 and they're trending over the past quarter. In the next section, we'll see S3 storage spend over the past quarter and whether or not it increased or decreased over time, as well as an important focus area around standard storage. Here you'll see your top three biggest buckets that use standard storage. And the reason this is important is because this tier of storage is the most expensive tier and a great place to start with your cost optimization efforts. The next view will show the top 10 to biggest buckets broken out by their total costs and their total cost by quarter. If we want to filter in on one specific bucket and have all the different visuals filter to this bucket, all we need to do is click into the visual, click on the bucket, and then what we'll see is all the different visuals also change to only show that one bucket. Now that the visual is filtered, we can see the different operations going in and out of the bucket on a daily basis. This can be a good indicator of what kind of life cycle policy you want to add to this bucket. To undo the filtering we just did, all we need to do is scroll back up, click back into the visual, and now this visual below and the rest of them will change back to showing all of the different buckets, not just one. Now that that's done, we can scroll down and we can go to the total cost per bucket for the previous month by operation chart. What this shows us is the biggest buckets for the previous month broken out by their operation. In this case, the first chart looks like it has git object and list bucket as two different operations going into it, so maybe it's not the best bucket to start with for optimization opportunities. If we go to the second bucket, it looks like it only has standard storage as an operation. The first thing I would ask myself as a customer is, do we actually need to keep this bucket around? If the answer is no, then you can simply delete it. The next thing I'd ask myself is, how long do we actually need to keep it around for? And that could help determine what kind of storage tier you move it to. You can move it to Frequent Access, Deep Archive, or Glacier, or any of the other storage tiers outside of standard storage. Once you've selected a bucket to optimize, you can use the chart above to track progress of the lifecycle policy. Once you filter on the specific bucket, this chart will show you the data and terabytes now sitting tiers outside of S3 standard in that bucket. For more insights on how to use the Kudos dashboard, please go to our channel. Thanks for watching.